Sarah from Heavenly Feather Farms, and I'm going to show you the process for shipping chickens through the USPS. Um, first off, you need a box that is approved to ship through the post office. Um, I buy my boxes either through Cutler's Supply or the from Horizon. Um, they, these are the two boxes that I use on our farm. This is for day-old chicks, and then I use this for uh, maybe one or two bantams could fit in this box. Uh, there's all different kinds of shapes and sizes for boxes. So um, Horizon uh, usually is the one that sells, has the most, uh, on their website, has the most uh, diversity on what you want. Um, as far as uh, what, what you put in the box to ship, you do put some shavings at the bottom. Um, and then I put in some fruit. I will cut up fruit and put it in there. I'll also grab a handful of feed and stick it in there. With chicks, I will use uh, grow gel. And what it is, it's just a little powdery substance that you add water to. And, it, and then you put it like in a little cup and it will give the chicks uh, hydration throughout, throughout the chicks. You also, with chicks, um, if it's in the winter, you could ship with heat packs that you could take to the side. Um, I buy those on eBay. They're very inexpensive. They do work well. Um, as far as how to figure out what it's going to cost to ship your chickens, what I do is I put everything in it like I'm getting ready to take it to the post office to ship your food, your shavings, and your bird. Um, and then I have this scale that I bought uh, through eBay years ago. I think I paid $20 for it. It's a postage um, or a postal scale. And I will weigh my bird, find out how, how much it weighs, and then I will go to the USPS website and it will say calculate a price. And it will take you through the steps on, um, on what to do. And then at the very end it will tell you the price. It will say an online price and then a post office price. Uh, if you're printing your postage at home, you're going to pay the online price, and it is so much cheaper to do it at home. You can easily save twenty to thirty dollars shipping from your home. Um, you still have to bring the box to the post office, but at least you can print your postage at home. So once I have everything figured out and um, I'm ready to, to go, what I would do is in California we have to call the day before to get uh, to our postal hub to get a confirmation number. So I have to call 24 hours in advance, get the, a confirmation number, and then I'm going to write that confirmation number on my box. I'm also going to write on my box with big letters, call for pickup with the person that the, the chicken is going to with their phone number. So when the bird arrives at the postal um, office, the, the, the workers will call you and say, hey, come get your bird. They won't deliver your, your bird because they don't want it in their car all day. So uh, very important to write the phone number, don't forget your area code. Uh, also um, as far as shipping, um, you can only ship birds express mail. It's called express overnight service, but it's not really overnight. They, they don't guarantee it for overnight. Sometimes it could take two, even three days to get your birds. Um, they do have a guaranteed by date, so if they do go over, they will refund your shipping, but they do not refund. Any, if your bird arrives dead, they don't refund any of that. Uh, shipping is a gamble. It's not, I mean, it is safe, but I mean, accidents do happen and birds do die. So uh, keep that in mind when you're shipping. Um, I don't think I have anything else to tell you. If you have any questions, I kind of went through this fast. So if you have any questions, you can find me on Heavenly Feather Farms or you can send me um, an email or you may ask your question below and I will see and answer it. So thank you.